Hey guys, Long Haul Larry, Big Baloo. That's right, back in Big Blue for a little bit. Got the broken down black pony, whatever it is. Driving this thing for like a week or so. You guys uh, decide if you want to drive it and apply here. We are loaded up here in Americold, Wisconsin Rapids, and I don't think it's going to load. It's going to scale. That's what I should say. Um, we got 43,082 pounds. That is fine. I can fit 43,000 pounds on here on this truck and trailer and everything with gross weight, but the way they have it loaded, it is, they have it double stacked, almost to the tail. And that is not gonna work. And I have actually, um, I have the load scale inside the truck here. I guess that guy's going that way. But I have the load scale inside the truck here and I have it, Uh, set up and everything and I'm too heavy um, and I can see my tires squatting on the trailer it doesn't even I don't even know if this trailer's got a load scale on it I haven't been using the load scales on these trailers because they're all they're all off and everything everybody keeps messing with them they're off um, the boss actually bought all digital ones he wants me to put all these on there and stuff, so I'm, I'm going to be working on those once the weather gets warmer. But um, I can tell you right now it's over on the trailer. At least I think it is. It looks like it to me. I don't know if he's pulling back out. I told the guy when I jumped up in there and put the load locks in there, I'm like, dude, this is never gonna load. And it's it's uh frozen, it's frozen potatoes. On the tail. I don't really think that guy moved at all. He looks like he's the exact same as what he was. I don't know. Who knows? But um Yeah, it's you can feel it in the ride here. There's no way. But it's super windy here, guys, too. I mean, super windy. The flags don't even do it justice there. And those trees over there doesn't even do it justice. Um, it's really, really windy. I walked into the office and it was just, I mean, it was like just, it was like one of those weather forecast things where you see the guys sitting out on the side of the ocean and they're standing sideways, you know, and pushing against the winds, you know, and do that old clip and though. It's really bad. Um, Tracy lives north of here, a little ways, and she was all cleaning up her yard, and I don't know why, because I mean, I'm guessing they have the same wind. And she sent me a picture, she has some pine trees on, on the edge of her property. She hates them, and they constantly keep breaking, and, Chunks fall in her yard and she wants to come down, but they're not hers. And they're actually, there's a library that's next to her. That, that, they're, the, they're owned by the library. And she keeps yelling at them, they gotta calm down, they're gonna fall on one of her buildings, everything else. They won't do it. And uh, she sent me a picture. And a big old chunk of a tree fell down, fell in the yard. I'll show it to you guys. She said that, um, I asked, I said, nothing got hit. And she said, uh, her and her granddaughter were out on the John Deere picking up sticks and they were off the John Deere walking around and they heard the cracking and they ran away and stuff and the thing fell. You can see the John Deere right by the tree. Yeah, there's no way this is, this is a scaled up right now. I am showing the scale inside as like 32. 
so I might have been off on the way I was sitting there in the lot when I tried to scale 34,000 on the drives, but I might have been sitting on in like a, a hole or something with my drives. So I might be like 32 on my drives. So I might be able to slide my tandems back a little bit. We'll see when we get there. Truck stops right up the road, so we'll head over there and scale this load up. Hey guys, we are pulling up to the scale. And I have my Cat Scale app loaded up. And we're gonna see what this is gonna come out as. I know I'm heavy on the tail, I can feel it. I can just feel it driving. Now I'm using my iPad. I don't think I've ever used this for uh, doing this Catskill app, the app transfers if I load it on my phone it also loads on there but I haven't filled up so we may not be able to use it I'll try if it doesn't I may have to turn on my phone one but I'm trying to screen record it so you guys can see it too but I kind of turned it on as I was coming up over the bridge there and, and uh, I guess it was too far away or something it didn't register the scale so I got to enter in the scale number usually when you start up the app I usually do it when I'm just pulling on to it so it's 881 all right there we go we're situated Let's see if it comes up Let me try to turn off my Wi-Fi. There we go. That was a problem. Except... I am in 798. R66, parade of all kinds, except... Except Okay. So that's correct. It is yeah, I got you. Thanks. I don't want your chicken. Okay, so we're 560 pounds over. It's not as bad as I thought. So we're going to pull up and uh, get out of the way here. I'm going to slide this. I'm actually just going to spin around and slide it next to the scale. So if I could slide it back two holes, if I could slide my tandems back two holes, that will give me enough to transfer enough weight. All right, the wind is like really horrible out here, guys, but I'll show it to you. All right, so there's, so you can cut the holes. I usually start at the solid one, not at the first one. I don't know what I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. The pin is in the sixth hole, so we need to move it probably to the eighth hole. So, pull that there pin, and I will re release the tractor brakes and just slide forward and try to get two holes up. So, what we got here? I think it was eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two, 
two, four, six, eight. Wondering if I did nine. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put it in and slide back. That'll put it into that hole. We'll see where we're at then. All right, so we need to move that. I think I moved it one hole too many, but we're just gonna we're gonna try it. I think it was supposed to be eight. So we're gonna just kind of move it around and wiggle that pin into there and stuff. I am going to physically go and look at it to make sure that the pin is in the hole and stuff, but it should be in there. Uh, don't ever make that mistake as a truck driver. You slide your axles and then rock it back and forth and you hear clink clink and you think you're good and you take off. Don't do that. I learned that probably my first or second year of truck driving. They were not locked in and I took off and Somebody broke their uh, applied the brakes real hard in front of me. I had to hit the brakes hard, and those tandems, they, when, if they start sliding fast, the pin will not catch at all. And that tandem goes flying back, and wham, it hits the back of the trailer. It can dent stuff up and everything. Always make sure to get out and virtually, you know, check on it. Yep, the pin is in there, and they're locked. There's four pins. Actually, John did this, uh, I think he video, I'm very sure he did it, a video. But uh, he did it just a little while ago. All right, let's see where we're at now. Okay, so now this, it's telling me I'm about 34,200 on the tandems now on my scale inside the truck. I think this is a little bit off though. I know this woman that drove the truck I know she got an overweight ticket she was complaining how it was off or something and then I found out later on that it wasn't she didn't get ticketed for the scale on the on the tractor weight it was the trailer weight so she may have figured with this thing come on All right, we're good. That all works. We are legal to go. 11,260, 33,660, 33,300. She's heavy. I'm pretty close to being, uh, being there. I didn't think it would scale at all, but it scaled, so we're legal.
think he must be over. He was out there sitting on the scale and and um, and the DOT guy was out there on the steps talking to him and, and just and they put me in a bypass lane. Because the DOT guy, you know, officer was outside. And they um, I could see my mirrors and stuff. The guy got off and walked inside the building as I went through. And then I saw the guy in the white truck that was sitting on the scale. I saw him uh, pulling behind the scale. So he's either overweight or something. I just got lucky with timing there, but I'm glad that I went there and double checked the scale on this and made sure to load, you know, load was scaled right. Now well, let's see what this scale does. Oh, it's closed. The sign back there said open. Huh? I wonder if they just closed it. Heck, yeah, they're there. I think they just pulled that truck in or something. Definitely there, they're sitting in there. Well guys, good morning. We are on our way to Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we ran on down and got down here. We're actually running the toll road. Going to Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm not gonna run all the way down. That's really kind of silly. I'm gonna hit this highway slow. <laughs> really no traffic coming. I got one pickup truck with a camper. Oh, put the full rays on just to be sure here. Yeah, he's good. But uh, we made her down here. We're just about through Indiana. And we were running out of hours, so we pulled into the rest area there. And uh, wasn't much parking, but I found that spot right there where it seemed like it was okay. Well guys, we're just running across Pennsylvania. Got ourselves a nice sunny day. Just rolling along. I ran 80 across and then uh, did the same thing I did last trip out here. I decided I'll just jump on to 322 and run this uh, up here and you can just kind of go up across this uh, mountain here. A big downgrade going down and uh, North on 81, and I'll be right there in Allentown. I only got 142 miles to go. I do gotta find a place to take my half an hour break. I only got an hour and 22 minutes. I know on the bottom of this downgrade, there's a couple truck stops, so. so I'll probably do that. I'll pull in there, maybe get a bite to eat. I don't have a refrigerator or any kind of cooking stuff, so until I get back into the black truck, I need to kind of eat what I can out here in truck stops and stuff, which is not good for me, but gotta do what I gotta do. Welcome to Allentown, Pennsylvania. We made her. We done gone, made it. The load that we gotta get in here and deliver. We're gonna. Uh, you guys have seen a lot of times where I'll turn red right here to go down to America. This is a different Americold. It's just up the road up here. I'm trying to remember, I think this is it right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
This mare called Harry can actually park here. is I pick up at the other one right on the road and I pick up that one tomorrow morning. I'm going to be picking up a load there and running that back to Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Picking up, running straight back there. Not sure on the appointment. It's probably a early AM appointment or something on Thursday. I think it's, I think that this load that goes back there is in all these loads. So that, that's usually like a two, three o'clock, maybe four five o'clock in the morning, something like that. So I'm just gonna be backing into a spot, go check in and see what they got to say. Shoot, I don't even know if I'll be able to find a spot here down there. I'll have to park down this way and walk down. Looks like it's pretty dung going busy down there. Huh? Well, might be something down there closer. I'll go check in here and um, see what they got to say. My appointment is in like half an hour. This is fine right here. Park right here. The door is like halfway down the building. So I think I'll just let you guys go. I hope that everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night as they watch this here video. And if you're not, certainly let's try that all over again tomorrow. We got another load complete. And we'll jump on the next one tomorrow. Head right back to Wisconsin. And then I think I'm heading to Texas. That's what he was saying. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.